Welcome back to Jersey Matters. There's renewed hope in the state that with the rollout of the COVID-19 vaccine, that children will be able to return to the classrooms in New Jersey full time. But as our Kimberly Kravitz found out after talking with teachers, school officials and parents, there's still some real concern. Kimberly. The rollout of the COVID-19 vaccine had sparked hope that New Jersey schools would return to a normal traditional schedule. And that raises the question, should teachers be forced to be vaccinated? And A, is it legal? I believe it is as an attorney. Mark Zittimer, a school board attorney and partner at Schenck Price, suggests that although school teachers are not mandated to take the COVID-19 vaccine yet, they may be forced to in the future. Uh, we've got some new guidance out of the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission, which is kind of the federal agency that oversees federal uh, anti-discrimination laws. They've come out with guidance that they believe that employers are within their rights to mandate vaccines. A few teachers that I spoke with in New Jersey feel that they should be the ones in charge of what is put in their body. To mandate something like that is to allow a foreign substance to be injected into someone's body without giving them a choice. They really need to look at what their risk factors are. I don't have any risk factors, so I don't feel as though I need a vaccine. If you don't get vaccinated, you come to school and you contract COVID and now have infected 25 students in a classroom and those students have siblings in other classrooms and in the other schools, it's got the ability obviously to, to shut down the entire school district. Under a state or federal mandate, certain exemptions for a vaccine may be negotiable. If you have a deeply held religious uh, view, just as with parents and their children currently, which is protected under the Civil Rights Act of 1964. As of now, New Jersey has just 79 school districts offering full in-person instruction. Nearly 340 districts are providing all remote. The New Jersey Education Association wants children back in school, but not prematurely. We can't have educators uh, going back in uh, unvaccinated in conditions that aren't safe. And, and certainly we would ask the governor to prioritize educators being, being vaccinated. The topic of remote instruction has been a heated one, especially to frustrated parents like Kara Siegel. How long do our children stay out of school? Children belong in school. Siegel believes that her children are suffering studying at home and have no motivation to learn. My daughter needs to be in school full time. 100% her education is slipping. There's no question. She tells me she's not learning. Some educators in the state are also concerned about extending virtual learning. As Sean Spiller from NJEA says. I think it's been exactly what it is. I, I think it's it showed in so many ways how it can help and assist. And it's also showed in so many ways how it's not the same, right? And not as good. Everyone is teaching in a way that they haven't taught before. Uh, I'm just, I'm incredibly respectful and grateful for the professionals, education professionals, teachers, faculty and staff and administrators and principals who've been able to make this work for students in any capacity. As far as <laughs> relationships with students, I feel like that has really suffered and that's been the most difficult part because we teach because we want to be in the classroom and because we love it and we want to have relationships with these kids. Even with vaccinations for school teachers and staff, the safety of lunch hour and sports gatherings still come into question. The superintendent of Madison schools weighed in. Introducing lunches into school where students are going to be eating with their masks off increases risk. Um, additionally, um, having students, uh, at the, especially at the secondary level, all in to the point that we can't maintain six feet of distance also adds a level of risk. Dr. Richard Baza of the New Jersey Association of School Administrators agrees that the vaccine will help ramp up in-person instruction, but it won't likely be safe until next year. I think as each month goes by, as we get greater control over the spread of the infection, as we get uh, more vaccines out there, there'll be a greater comfort level of returning into the school environment. In an effort to get students back to school, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention classify teachers as part of the Phase 1B nationwide vaccine program. In the meantime, many New Jersey students, teachers and staff are approaching nearly one year of being on a hybrid or all remote schedule. This is detrimental to our children, the future of our children's education. At this point in time, although school staff are among the priority list of workers who need to be vaccinated, Governor Murphy's administration has not yet rolled out a date. Reporting from Madison for Jersey Matters, I'm Kimberly Kravitz. Thanks, Kimberly. Up next on Jersey Matters.
According to immigrant activist groups, ICE detainees at multiple detention centers throughout the state are participating in hunger strikes. What they're hoping to accomplish and what ICE says about the situation.